Hello, my friends, Kaylin Wright here with super-intelligent.ai and the Super Intelligent AI SEO Network to introduce to you a new course that we are launching that is about information gain and the creation of novel content and how it applies to SEO and your SEO rankings. What I'm going to teach is we're going to master GrowthWorks, their AI software solution for SEO. We're not going to use it for its course creation purposes, but we are going to turn it into an SEO power tool. It is going to create an outline for us. It's going to give us valuable assets that will be readable by the algorithm of the search engines AIs. We are going to give you AI powered content creation. I'm going to teach you how to use tools like Text Cortex, ChatGPT, Claude, Perplexity that are going to give us citations and bibliographies to back up the information and how we are going to collate various different experts in a field to create novel content that will be valuable both to the search engine and to the end reader. We are then going to show you how you can use this novel content in a versatile way from various platforms using it as web pages, using it for blogs, using it for social media platforms, using it for web pages, newsletters, variety of different options that we have available that we can take this one article and these few assets that we're going to create and turn them into a way that we can cont continuously churn information over that the search engines are going to see as unique content and information gain that's valuable. Listen on as Russell explains how we have used information gain in expertintheloop.com, constitutional.ai, and apprentice-bar.ai, and how we have seen amazing unheard of rankings with no backlinks, simply using the information gain process. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Hello, my friends. Russell Wright from super-intelligent.ai SEO. We are going to be talking about information gain. Kaylin, our fearless CEO, who is also teaching some of you how to use information gain to rank very well on the search engines, has asked me to create a brief overview of how information gain connects with SEO. Here's the search engine land. Uh, document on what is information gain. Some of you know that we used to talk quite a bit to Bill Slosky while I was still alive, SEO by the Sea. He is one of the people that I consider to be the most intense and well-educated search engine SEO patent analyzer in the world, and we did lose him a couple years ago uh, due to an um, unexpected death. Um, Bill has trained a lot of us in the SEO industry, so we're going to talk about this article from Search Engine Land. Also, please do reference my video that I actually ranted about this. Kaylin has asked me not to rant today, so I'm not going to. Um, but do uh, be sure to see our video on our channel. Let me see if I can find it here. It is called Google's 2024 AI Update Bloodbath Solved by Information Gain? Question mark, AKA Topical Novelty novelty or topical insight. One thing I would like to say is there's very advanced topics of information gain and there's really basic topics about information gain. Based on uh, the easiest way to understand it is that from the search engine perspective is they just want to make sure that they serve content to a user that's not necessarily um, something that's just repeated and promoted by everybody else or even just promoted with skyscraper content of the brand so of a brand so they first identify the first set of doc documents and the user is exposed to those and there's a second set of documents the user has not been exposed to which may have new and unique novel ideas on it and then they expose them to both what they do however is they create an information gain score for each document and then they select a new document from the second set based on information gain hoping that the user will be impressed by novel and unique information okay that's a simple search engine perspective from a human perspective it just means like i discussed in this video it means hey there's something that's actually, be, there's value that's actually being added rather than the same brand and the same SEO stuffing spam and the same regurgitated articles from AI about information that has already been seen or the same article everywhere, okay, that is just spun 
in a million different ways. We call this spin tax back in the day. Okay, and I've been addressing this more on spin tax and more on spam for almost a decade and a half now. Okay, so Kayla wants me to show you guys some results of how we've used information gain directly, the kind that she has just trained some of you on how to use. And we're going to talk about something really super simple. Okay, if you look at constitutional.ai, it's a stupid single page site we have. You can see the ranked URLs month by month. Here's October of 23. I made the article at the end of September. Here's October 1st. I came out of nowhere. Here I was number 20 for about a month. And then I went to number one. Okay, number one. And what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and just look at that. There was a, a cycle. Okay, and that cycle, let me see if I can show you the correct ranking board here. I built this entire one page site with information gain in mind. And I thought to myself, oh, cool, constitutional AI. What a great idea. A robot that's not going to kill everybody. Because remember, Anthropic's constitutional AI framework is designed to make sure that humans um, are able to survive and that super intelligent AI doesn't rule the world and hunt us all down and kill us like Terminator. And they even had this really huge patent on it called constitution. In other words, give the AI a constitution that it cannot break. An oversimplified way of looking at this would be like the three uh, rules of robotics by Isaac Asimov. All very silly, but hey, constitutional AI frameworks were useful. So I went, you can see I started, I was, I came in at zero and even 90, you can see over here, this is all the data centers in the world. If you guys log into our members area, you will see that we teach you in the Russell Unplugged section of our uh, super intelligent AI on mighty networks, you will see that I actually told you how to track multiple data centers. I love doing that because it's super weird when you're ranked number one in California and number 3000 in New York. That means something. So if you want to learn more about what that means, please join our mighty networks and we'll teach you all this crazy SEO stuff you've never seen anywhere else. All right, cool. So one of the things I want to show you is look, we're number 21 and then we came in at number two and then we fluctuate between number one and five position. Okay, four terms like can, that include but are not limited to constitutional AI. All right, and you can see that this guy keeps coming in here with a giant site that he probably spent millions of dollars building. Then there's Anthropic, and usually I'm above Anthropic, but right now here in New Mexico, I dropped the day before yesterday under Anthropic. How embarrassing for them, right? That constitutional AI can be owned by a single page site with no backlinks. Wait, no backlinks, you say? Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and get into another. How do you check to see if there's backlinks? Do you guys know how to do that? Okay, because Kayla will be talking about this in terms of the SEO side, but take a look at this. Constitutional AI, you just turn on your little search engine quake doohickey here, and you can see that these guys are huge. Whenever you see a 68 or a 50 through 100, that means they've invested hundreds of thousands of dollars on backlinks, okay? Go down here to Anthropic. They may not need as much because they got cash infused by Jeff Bezos, who also, by the way, has cash infused perplexity and it's really important to understand that constitutional ai we'll pull it in here in a second okay 51 constitutional ai is eight with no backlinks okay doesn't make any sense does it so let's go ahead and take a look at constitutional ai and all the terms that it's ranked for these are not horribly difficult terms but they shouldn't be ranking that easy guys with zero backlinks check this out anthropic constitutional ai this, the difficulty of this keyword is possible. You will need well-structured and unique content. This is where Kaylin talking about, about uh, information gain and novel, topical novelty articles and all these different things. This is where it comes in, okay? So anthropic constitutional AI would be considered somewhat difficult, all right? Let's go ahead and toss the brand in front of it. Constitutional AI, anthropic, anthropic, and then there's us. They got three of their own pages, Constitutional AI, Harmless from AI Feedback, Collective Constitutional AI, Claude's Constitutional AI, and then there's little old us, Constitutional AI, dot AI. Now notice that this play is an exact match domain play, which is part of the information game. That is what I call the focusing on the topic. And then if you dig deeper into this zero backlink site that almost always outranks anthropic.com, which invented constitutional AI, you'll see that constitutional AI, let's get rid of this uh, quake for a second. You'll see that the topic is constitutional AI, the topic and its implementation tracker, the keyword implementation tracker, which is a subcategory of the, the H2, I believe. I'll have to double check, it might be H1. And then here's an H1, H2 probably is here. What is constitutional 
AI. So this is what you call an informational sentence or keyword. And then I made sure to write this content so that it was absolutely unique in information gain and helpful content. By the way, there is a relationship between the information gain content and the helpful content algorithms at Google. Okay. This, this site aims to serve as a hub of information. Now, I want to tell you guys a little bit of secret. I found the one person on the web, her name is Anastasia in Tech, 172,000 subscribers. When I added her video, which was based on information gain, I looked for somebody that was not doing videos that rehashed their transcript on everybody else, who was an expert in their field, who had years of experiences actually developing and or analyzing AI chips that are now popular. Before it was popular, Anastasia was in tech and she was following the AI world. She's one of the only females doing it and she provides better content than almost anyone I've ever seen technically. And as soon as I put her information gain content on the site, we pop from page two onto the bottom of page one. Okay. Additionally, definition. Now people could say, okay, that's just the iframe connected to that. Yeah, iframe is rule. You guys remember my five iframe punch? That was a good one, right? So, but the information iframe was very important. I put in a definition. I gave more bullet points. And look at this more information gain. I included an image with a screen grab of information from Anthropic, which is Claude AI. Okay. And I put some more images uh, connecting to articles that were brand new and related to the topic. And I also said, hey, this site's available for sale. I want to buy it. That didn't seem to influence it at all. I put that in there as a test because I wanted to know if the domain was blatantly up there for sale, is that going to reduce my rankings? Okay, so I wanted to show that. Is it? Well, let's take a look. Okay, number 20, it's number two. And let me show you how long it's been sitting here with information getting content. Oh, there it is. Sunday, September 24th, 23. And then boom, number two, all the way down, all the way across. And I do fluctuate at different data centers between, like last night, you can see I was number two, which means I was above Anthropic this morning. If I go to a different data center, I'm above them. You guys get the point though. This is a non, this is a non-issue. We are stable for the most part. Okay, so it's not an instability. It's not a flash from the pen. Okay, in order to um, get quickly through this, I'm going to do one more thing for Kaylin because she's going to be talking to you all about what this training is. We're going to go directly into a new one called Apprentice Bard. Apprentice Bard is another simple page Google site with an exact match domain that came out at the exact time that Apprentice Bard was, you know, doing a belly flop and failing utterly in front of in a public space while OpenAI handed them their butt. Okay, so Apprentice Bard was a very cool platform. I remember walking into the living room and saying, "Honey, I'm buying Apprentice-Bard.ai," and she was like, "Why?" Like, I want to do a test. Okay, so if you look at this. Apprentice Bard, Google Apprentice Bard, looky here. You will need well-structured and unique content, according to SEMrush. Okay, well, not so much. Well-structured, yes. You'd have to ask Kaylin. You'd have to talk you know, to us. Is information gain well-structured? Yeah, to an extent. Do you still need to follow the rules that Jimmy Kelly and I teach, such as H1, H2, H3, headers, domains, entities? Yes, there is a, there is a relationship to that. However, Remember, what Jimmy and I teach is that an entity can also be manufactured via impressions and, and impressions plus click through. So entities are whatever human beings say entities are via their traffic stats. <laughs> OK, so one of the things I want you to know is that this this would be considered very difficult. All right. So we're going to go ahead and look at that. How difficult was it? Google Apprentice Bard AI. Whoops. There we are. Apprentice Bard AI. And who is below us? Google.com, blog.google.technology, you know, um, everybody over at the Googleplex, this is Danny Sullivan's URL. Then, of course, Gemini's direct application interface to Gemini. Now, it's true, Apprentice Bard is not going to be super popular. They've changed the name. They gave up on it, probably due to the massive belly flop I just mentioned. However, Gemini is far more intelligent and blah, blah, blah. Here's GPT-3. Here's another Google blog post. Here's CBN. So we've outranked CBN. ChatGPT, Gemini, Google Blog, and Apprentice Bard for Google Apprentice Bard AI using information gain. How, you ask? Okay, well, let's go ahead and do a quick summary using SEO Quick, just like we did previously. It's a little handy dandy tool you can use by the SEMrush team. Bless their hearts. Uh, what they do is they just collect all the data for anybody using the browser. That's how they get the crazy results inside of SEMrush. Okay, so what you do is you look at Apprentice Bard. AS10, okay, that's the authority. Backlinks, 
zero or there's one but it's mine okay <laughs> wait a second there's one backlink and there's 57.9 and millions of backlinks to some of these hundreds of thousands I thought you said backlinks are what give you ranking in SEO okay not now there's a couple of tricks going on here there's information gain combined with combined with an exact match domain on a one-page Google site I've tested this on pages that are not Google sites okay and we're, we're seeing massive increase of information gain articles tested on non Google platforms as well okay so if you go into the apprentice bar you're gonna see the similar thing that you see the constitutional AI you're gonna see a Google site with a domain attached yes we're gonna teach you that in fact I'll make those videos today and you can see that you've got apprentice bar implementation tracker does implementation tracker sound familiar I just showed you that on constitutional AI what does that mean it means it's a tool okay implementation preparing for the future of the conversational AI okay you can see all this I pulled this information I even pulled a piece of content from a master named Noah Ratson who is who posted inside of LinkedIn I copied his content directly guys to Sundar Pichai at Google the code red was the biggest mistake it would be better to call it a code blue chill out y'all don't rush this is literally a AI expert at Microsoft talking to this the CEO of Google and then I put in a couple posts all which should not help us rank guys there's a link to the apprentice bar on Substack by the way if I showed you how many people on Substack reached out for leads in my inbox you would laugh no actually let me show you the leads in my inbox and here you go over the months you can see that there's tons of people that came in through Substack in fact too many to even show on one page okay and additionally I did absolutely nothing with them so if anybody thinks that I should email these people and let them know hey we have a super intelligent AI community you can tell that I'm an SEO because I've done exactly squat with the leads anyway does something good for you to know all right so if we work together as a community can you imagine how many leads we'll make together guys that's why Kaylin is creating a community because I don't even have the time to actually follow up with the leads that I already generate all right cool so that in an essence is what is happening and why we're going to teach you a one page sites which is going to be to, uh, given to all of you in you know the whole Google model in uh, Q Miracle uh, which gives you access to Q local as well and Kaylin's going to be launching with me more advanced training on how to create information gain content using a combination of three of the most powerful AI systems but actually five but three of them are the future such as perplexity.ai our friend Aaron Fletcher over at the Fletcher method and we have an agency account with them and we are using his stuff not as advertised to create some of the most advanced information gain on the planet let me give you a weird example Okay, let's say you have a keyword that's not that difficult okay but is still something that you want to do or even difficult and you just need to take Kalen's training and get more advanced let's type it's not expert in the loop this is something we went and looked it up this morning because we totally forgot about the domain and you can see that we are number five for expert in the loop and if I click on it you're gonna see nothing but an information gain article that took us like five minutes to build I didn't even follow Kalen's awesome methods of doing it I just built it on my own and you can see here all we have is an image extracted from one of our infographics generator these are the things that Kalen teaches you and in fact if you go to Q Miracle you can see the how I built this particular article we tossed it on a one-page site guys look there's not even any really content on this site okay so if we go back to the search engine and look let's see what's indexed here this took me all of 30 seconds to set up expert in the loop advanced human potential in the age of automation sponsored by okay so it's the home page that's actually indexed guys I don't even have the content on the home page I only have a information gain image people keep saying that you can't the search engines can't read text lies I'm telling you guys I know based on hundreds of hours of testing they are reading text especially if it's visible enough now they don't necessarily show up in Google Lens but Jimmy and I have done thousands of hours of testing in all kinds of industries especially e-commerce they're reading text guys doesn't mean they're releasing it all Google Vision but it's here if you go home and you click down on super intelligence here's the article okay this is not even the article this is the full article this is not the article that they indexed Okay, this is the whole information gain not as advanced as what Kalen teaches you guys but close okay let's see if that page is even indexed okay they didn't index that page 
They index the home page. See? Forward slash home, forward slash super intelligence is not even indexed, but the exact match domain ranks. Okay, expert in the loop. Yes, it's an ex exact match domain. Yes, it is connected to Google. I will show you how to do that. But we're seeing massive amounts of movement to the home page of sites <clears throat> that are using information game with text, headers, H1s and H2s following Jimmy Kelly and my method of entity optimization, content, and unique integration of the content. People might be saying, include Jimmy and I have said this before, that the text paragraphs don't matter. But the combination of all of these things together with unique novelty do matter. In other words, the H1 or the combinations of H1s, H3s, and the information gain, such as me adding Anastasia as a, as a video, we could say, oh, it's just the video that reads you. No. I did two separate tests where the video was not inclusive or was just repetitive or was not a strong channel or had no information gain. There's a correlation here to how all of these things work together. Okay. On that note, I'll hand this over to Kaylin. Hopefully that gives you a great idea of what's coming. Guys, we don't even know how big this information gain thing is going to, um, how it's going to become. But I suggest that if perplexity.ai is a Google killer, which Jeff Bezos believes that it is, thus the $600 billion cash infusion to both that and Anthropic, then we need to really pay attention to providing unique value on the search engines, not just skyscraper content and unique article spinning context where no information gain or novelty, topical novelty is provided. Thanks guys, I'll talk to you on the inside.